A simple impulse turbine has a wheel of 30 cm diameter, runs at 200 rpm, rps and the nozzles are inclined at 20 degree to the plane of wheel. The exit velocity of the steam from nozzle is 850. The loss of velocity in the blade is 10 percent and the blades are symmetrical. Determine the blade angles, blade efficiency and absolute velocity at exit. In this case we have given the diameter equals to 30 cm. The speed is 200 rps, so we will multiply by 60, that is 12,000 rpm. Nozzle is inclined at 20 degrees, so alpha 1 is 20. And the exit velocity of the steam is uh, 850, so this is V1 is equals to 850. There is a loss of friction, loss of velocity due to friction is 10%, so that is K equal to 0.9, which is Vr2 by Vr1. Blades are symmetrical, so beta 1 is equal to beta 2. The blade velocity can be obtained by pi d n by 60, pi 0.3 multiplied by 12,000 divided by 60. So we have got 188.5 meter per second. So we have a data like this, alpha 1 is 20, v1 is 850, k equal to 0.9 and u is equal to 188.5. This one is our standard triangle. This one is alpha 1 and this component is v1. So I am referring actually this one equals to v1. And uh, it is V1 has two component. One is called as VF1, and another is called as VW1. And this one is called as relative velocity at inlet. This is blade angle at inlet. This is blade angle at outlet. Nozzle angle at inlet. This is nozzle angle at outlet. This is a flow velocity at outlet, and this is a whirl velocity at outlet. To draw this, I want to just complete this triangle using these standard values. So my scale is 1 cm equal to 100 meter per second, and u is equal to 188.5. So some I will construct here u is equals to 1, a to b represents u value and since it's a uh, 100, so I will take u equal to 1.9 approximately. Now alpha 1 is equals to 20, so we will construct alpha 1 equal to 20 and on this one we will take distance equals to 8.5 that represents the velocity Va1. And then I complete the right angle triangle using these two. So I got this uh, component equal to Vf1 and this component equals to Vw1. So VW1 come out to be 8 and VF1 come out to be 2.9 and join this point B with D so that I will get my angle beta 1 here and I can measure the value of VR1 which is 6.8. Now beta 1 is same as beta 2 and VR2 is given by relation 0.9. So I can obtain VR2 is equal to VR1 into K that is 6.8 into 0.9 which come out to be 6.1. So using beta 2 and Vr2 equal to 6.1, we can construct here one angle at B, one angle beta 2 at B. So this one point re, uh, BE represents Vr2 equal to 6.1 and now I will complete this triangle, that is right angle triangle. So if I complete this, I can record the value of Vf2 and Vw2. If I want to, yes, I complete this triangle and then I will draw a horizontal line, I can obtain F. So my Vf2 value come out to be and Vw2 value will be. So Vf2, Vw2 recorded is 3.7 and Vf2 is around 2.4. And this is absolute velocity here, this is absolute velocity V2 equal to 4.4 centimeter. All these readings are in cm. Now once we have known this value, our, ang uh, our answers will be like this. The blade angle beta 1 and beta 2 both are equals to 23.3. Blade efficiency is given by 2 times u Vw1 plus Vw2 upon V1 square. You have to use plus sign if Vw2 is acting on the opposite side of Vw1. And I will use this value in a centimeter only, so cm and cm will get cancelled. So u is equal to 1.9, Vw1 is 8, Vw2 is 3.7 and V1 is equal to same as Va1 is equal to 8.5 square. So blade velocity come out to be 16.5 percent. The next term we want to calculate the absolute velocity at exit and the absolute velocity at exit is represented by V2 that is 4.4 but my scale is 100 so velocity is 4.440 meter per second.